everyone. It's Nancy, Nancy Reamer from Reviva Labs. I'm the Director of Education and Training. We're, we're going to begin in about um, a minute or so. I'm um, just giving it a little bit more time. I see where I have three people here, so welcome. Um, and um, most of you probably know that we host these webinars monthly. Um, and we have two more left for the year. Um, so I invite you to look at our calendar, our, our website to see the calendar. Um, we have uh, in November, I have to put my glasses back on, November 18th. This should be interesting. This We're going to talk about preservatives in cosmetics and uh, why do we need them? And maybe uh, uh, certain types of preservatives and which ones we stay away from and which ones are good. So. Um, it's sort of an extension of ingredients, but it's a very specific kind of ingredient. And then the last uh, webinar for the year on December 16th is, do we really need a special product just for our eyes? I'll give you a quick answer, yes. <laughs> so, um, so I hope you join us. And additionally, I wanted to talk about uh, the fact that we are now also hosting two other uh, events on Zoom, which I would invite you to. Um, one is a demo where we send out a live Zoom demo. We send out samples to you for $5, which basically covers the shipping cost, um, but you get four different products. And then on the Zoom demo, we talk about these products and you get to touch and feel them and use them and ask questions. It's been super fun, really, really fun to, um, it's basically a skincare party uh, online. And, um, and then we also then send you um, coupon to bring into your local retailer who carries uh, Reviva and, um, to purchase. So you sort of get the whole $5 thing back. So check uh, the, the website for that information. And then we also just launched a new program, which is also super fun. And I'm laughing because I'm remembering we did it last week. We are hosting Trivia Night, which is just so much fun to play. Um, you, you, again, you play for free gifts. Uh, we do about four different rounds of different topics and you, you buzz in when you know the answer and whoever wins gets a, uh, gets a free skincare product. So please, again, check out the website and join us for, um, um, thanks Karen, I know I see you were on. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, it was really a lot of fun. I'm sorry, I, I can see, I can uh, see the chat room, but you guys can't see the chat, I don't think anyway. But anyway, um, we're just trying different ways as a, a small family brand to really connect with our consumers. So, um, and, I, and I hope you feel the same. So, so check it out. Um, and if you have any questions uh, about any of this, um, we are very responsive. You can call us, you can email me, you can um, find how to access us on, on our website at revivalabs.com. So without any further ado, I think we should um, start on our topic for today, um, which is um, three top ingredients, hold on, three must have ingredients, um, skincare ingredients. So um, I really had a lot of fun putting this together because um, there are, well, let, let, me, let me start screen sharing and I'll, and I'll show you. Okay, here we go. Make it, make it nice and big. And um, please feel free before I begin to um, hold questions to the end. It's just a little bit easier for me as the working this master board here of slides and comments. And I'll answer all the comments at the end. Um, I, I suppose there might be a way. I don't know if I can unmute you, but just, just chat it in the chat box um, as, as I'm going through if you have specific questions and then we'll take all the questions at the end. So let's begin. Um, many of you know, we are, have been around since 1973, when our founders, uh, Stephen and Drew Strassler, had just one goal was to create really safe, effective um, skincare treatments that produced a visible result, result at a reasonable price. Um, and we've been doing that now for um, half a, nearly half a century. And we're always committed to using the highest quality ingredients that are both safe and effective as we continue to formulate new skincare products. So that really is a, a great lead into our topic today. Why ingredients matter, and more specifically, the three I'm gonna talk about. Now, just to be, you know, 
to talk about ingredients a little bit more. We, as I said, we've been on the forefront of formulating products um, with, you know, natural ingredients, the highest quality natural ingredients that could be found on the market for, for years. Um, but I also wanted to say, if, I, if you didn't know, that our products are free of toxic and harmful ingredients. Uh, we are cruelty free and we are made in the United States. So just keep that in mind. Um, to be clear, there are a lot of really good quality ingredients out there um, used to formulate skincare products. And, um, you know, I've just listed a few of them on the, on the screen here. There's great sunscreens like zinc oxide, um, avabenzone, antioxidants, or, or there's fabulous ones out there like vitamin C and E and alpha lipoic acid. I almost listed al alpha lipoic acid as one of my top three. It's a great antioxidant. Um, there's Retin-A, which takes um, a doctor's prescription to be able to use that, but it's a very effective uh, ingredient. Um, AHAs, BHAs, um, alpha hydroxy acids, um, like lactic acid's been used for a long time. Salicylic acid has been used for ever in all sorts of different products to treat acne and to, you know, to help with acne um, and kojic acid. So anyway, there, there's a bunch out there um, <laughs> that have a long history of being very effective, but today we're going to take a closer look at three really incredible natural ingredients that I believe are the unsung heroes in skincare. They make a visible difference in all skin types. And that was another really strong criteria for us when we were putting this together, that everybody could use it and you can find it in a variety of different kinds of products. So, so let's get started. Let, let's, let's see who they are. Drum roll, please. Okay, so if you know me, the must have number one ingredient in my book is niacinamide. This is an unbelievably great ingredient. Um, what is it? Oh, or what is is? <laughs> Sorry, what is it? It's a form of vitamin B3. It's water soluble um, and it, it works in the skin to help it function um, properly and repair damage. Um, now, being a water soluble vitamin, I don't know if you understand that, but it, that means it's not made by the body and it must be ingested or topically applied to really receive any benefits from vitamin B3. So let's see what specifically this does. Oh, right, what doesn't it do? <laughs> it, really, it really is an incredible ingredient. Um, it helps to build keratin. Now keratin is a kind of protein um, that helps firm and smooth the skin. So right off the bat, I like it. It helps to renew and restore the barrier, uh, lipid barrier, um, which basically it targets uh, serenamides that we naturally have in our skin. And yes, serenamide is another kind of ingredient that you can purchase and use in skincare, but we have them in our skin. So they're needed for protection against irritants and moisture loss. So they're, they're an important um, building block of that lipid barrier. Um, the, the, the niacinamide also reduces inflammation to minimize redness and blotchiness. And it goes further in terms of uh, brightening the skin. It really works, goes to work on dark spots and hyperpigmentation. Um, it continues to do a lot of heavy lifting for anybody who has a little bit of an um, acne problem or is maybe a little bit more oilier skin because it helps to uh, regulate oil production um, that's produced in the sebaceous glands and helps pores return to a normal size because it visibly tightens the pores by strengthening and building the proteins in your skin. And it, then it also has an anti-inflammatory property to it so it really helps some difficult skincare issues like, as I mentioned, acne, but rosacea and eczema. Now, nothing actually cures rosacea. I just want to be clear about that. There isn't a cure, but you can certainly minimize the effects of it for your skin. So um, niacinamide does that. <laughs> it's really a phenomenal ingredient. Now, as I mentioned, the, it can be used topically, and we'll get to in a minute, um, the products that Reviva that have uh, niacinamide in it, but you can also help your, your own production of it by eating um, foods that are high in vitamin B3. So it's naturally found in eggs and different cereals, um, 
green vegetables, beans, fish, and milk. So hopefully it's a long enough list of food items that you can at least choose one or two that you that you like and add it to your diet because it will help, it'll help your skin. Um, but let's see what we can do topically with products from Reviva Labs that have niacinamide in them. Um, this is actually um, relatively new <laughs> as we're looking at pardon, <clears throat> some of our products and tinkering with them some, um, we've taken the opportunity to add niacinamide when it works to the benefit of what we're promising with this product. So the first one is this skin smoothing antioxidant day cream. Love this cream. It is just chock filled with antioxidants, including the alpha lipoic acid, which is really powerful, uh, vitamin C and E, and then green tea. But it will also help with past damage with niacinamide, right? It's gonna help with the brightening, maybe with dark spots, hyperpigmentation, or maybe inflammation. Resveratrol is also in there to help. That's a natural antioxidant. And vitamin C. Um, vitamin C is protects your skin against future damage, but it also helps to minimize past damage. Again, goes to work on brightening the skin. Um, under eye dark circle serum. This overall will reduce the appearance of under um, eye discoloration dark circles, puffiness, and it specifically, I mean, there's lots of ingredients in this product that go to work on fine lines and puffiness like caffeine, but specifically it goes to work on dark under eye circles with the niacinamide um, and the N-hydroxysuccidamide um, and chrysine. Those last two ingredients are ingredients that help strengthen the capillaries right under the eyes um, that are really the cause sometimes when they burst and um, the cause of dark circles, they burst and you get just deposits of um, bilirubin from the blood. So you, these two ingredients help move it along and, and brighten that area along with ni niacinamide. And then you have um, dark spot brightening serum, says it all, right? It brightens and improves your skin tone and clarity. I use this day and night. I want as much brightening as I can. Um, it has eight, count them, eight brighteners in it, including glycolic acid, kojic acid, niacinamide, vitamin C, arbutin, and bearberry are very similar natural ingredients from um, a plant extract um, that brighten resveratrol and licorice root. So um, yeah, couldn't get enough of this product. Okay, must have ingredient number two, um, hyaluronic acid. What is it? It's a substance that is naturally produced in your body. Um, the largest amounts of it are found in your skin, connective tissue, and in remarkably your eyes. Um, but unfortunately, hyaluronic le levels, hyaluronic acid levels in the skin begin to decline after um, you turn 40. Oh, sorry, just one more thing. Um, so what does it do and why is it so important? Well, hyaluronic acid is basically a, a humectant, um, um, meaning it adds moisture. Now, be it hyaluronic acid and sodium hyaluronate are from the same family. And the hy sodium hyaluronate is a form of hyaluronic acid. It just has a lower molecular weight. So it's more easily absorbed. So it really depends, like some, some kinds of products, and we'll see, um, we'll use hyaluronic acid because it, it, the, 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 the size of the molecule is good for that particular formula, whereas um, sodium hyaluronate will be used in other products that maybe um, need a, light, a, a smaller molecule so it can really penetrate the skin. This will all become clear when I get to the products, and I'll mention it again. So what does it do? It acts like a sponge. Basically, that's what hyaluronic acid is. It's a big sponge. It, it attracts and it binds moisture to the skin to increase the overall hydration of the skin. It reduces the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines, smooths things out with that additional moisture. It reduces redness that can cause dry, flaky skin. Um, and it helps the skin look more plump, healthier, a little bit more vibrant. Um, it's probably a good product to be moving into as uh, the weather across the country is getting a little bit colder. You may be experiencing a little bit more dryness, um, mostly because the heat is on inside and, and drying you out some, not because of the cold, it's really the indoor heat that's, that's uh, the, the culprit there. Um, 
So you may want to switch it up, switch up your moisturizer and get something with a little bit more hyaluronic acid in it. We, and there's more that hyaluronic acid does for our skin. Um, it's great for all skin types. Um, it, since it increases moisture levels in the skin, it doesn't add oil. So if you are on the opposite side of dry and a little bit more oily, you can use this without it feeling glommy or the fear that it's gonna create more oil on your skin or stimulate sebaceous glands. Mm -mm. It is all about just making sure your barrier layer is well hydrated. And actually it's going to help um, oil your skin because once the skin feels and um, receives some moisture, it is less likely to send oil because it feels uh, it's normalized. So it's, it actually helps. Um, it also helped, um, promotes regeneration of the skin to help it heal. Um, it's, it's hyaluronic acid is often recommended if you do chemical peels at your dermatologist or at your um, um, you know, esthetician or laser treatment. It's great because again, it doesn't add, you know, it doesn't sit on the skin. It just is absorbed and attracts and it binds whatever moisture you put on top of it. It's also what's used if you're um, getting injections for fillers around the mouth area or anywhere in your face where you want to smooth out the lines, those injections, um, if you see the word Restylane, Restylane is a trade name for um, hyaluronic acid. Um, and because our body produces hyaluronic acid, it's well received in the skin. Um, it sort of recognizes itself, if that makes sense. And when I was researching this um, uh, webinar, putting it together for you guys, I came across a study that was published in uh, <coughs> 2016. Um, and I was just astonished by these great numbers. I mean, I use this you know, again every day, but it's really good to know that you know, studies and research has um, shown that it decreases the depth of wrinkles, particularly around the eyes and your lips by 10 to 20% over three months. You have to be diligent about it. You have to use it every day and night. And it also improved tightness um, by 13 to 30%. Those are remarkable figures. Um, and again, it's, it's a natural ingredient. Um, okay, so what do we have at Reviva that has hyaluronic acid? <laughs> this is just some of the products. We have uh, been a, a, a big supporter of hyaluronic acid almost since our beginning. So you will find it um, in the ingredient listings in a lot of our products. I've just listed a few here. So we have um, hyaluronic acid serum, um, one, of, one of our top sellers. It's easily in the top three, month after month after month. Um, sometimes it's number one, then it's number two. Yeah, anyway, you get the picture, it, it, this guy sells. It improves the moisture levels uh, with hyaluronic acid. It plumps the appearance of the skin and improves the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Is very little ingredients in that product other than hyaluronic acid. Um, high potency collagen serum, <laughs> and these are found, all, all of these, uh, well, anyway, these two were found in our hydrating collection, uh, anything blue here. Um, so the high potency collagen serum is soluble collagen, which just means it's broken down into smaller bits so it's better absorbed, um, but it has um, H, HA in it as well to increase the moisture level and reduce the appearance of fine lines. I go back and forth. Um, using these guys. Um, they're, they're, the consistency is very similar. The results are similar. High potency collagen serum is obviously giving me that, you know, collagen boost that just adds a little softer appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. But um, anyway, they're both top sellers. Um, terrific. And you just need two to three drops of this underneath the moisturizer. Speaking of moisturizers, um, cream hydratant. This is, I, I love this product. Um, it's just got super hydrating with nourishing oils, the hyaluronic acid to retain those uh, hydrators that are in it, but it really helps to calm rough, um, irritated skin. So yes, I will put this on. Actually, I put it on when my hyaluronic acid is still just a little bit damp on my skin because it's a very thick cream, but I find that it just sort of smooths it out and I'm able to just really get this, you know, infusion of, of hydration in my skin and the hyaluronic acid serum sort of pulls the cream hydratant in. Um, but I also use this like 
you know, on my elbows that maybe got a little rougher when I was out gardening or, you know, it just, it, it just, any place that the skin is irritated and rough, this does, it just feels so nourishing and so nice for your skin. Um, and two other products that have hyaluronic right, acid right in their name are the Intercell Hyaluronic Acid Day Cream and Hyaluronic Acid um, Night Gel. I was checking my notes to see if I've got any more information. Okay, yes, these two provide um, the hyaluronic acid, acid um, again, to gain and retain moisture. So if you're, as I was saying before, if you're moving into a season of winter that's you know, more severe across the country, you, you may want to switch to these two, the day and the night gel, um, just to make sure that you're, you are getting the maximum amount of hydration that you can. Um, and you're really helping this moisture barrier um, stay strong throughout the winter. Again, those are just some of the hydrating collection ingredient uh, products that contain hyaluronic acid. Outside of the hydrating collection, in our restoring and um, collection, we have eye glee concentrate. This fights dryness with hyaluronic acid and collagen and a lot of special um, herb extracts. Um, this, this is a really beautiful eye product. If you're not terribly concerned about um, dark under eye circles, then I would use the under eye circle product. But if you're just looking for a, a really nice everyday, you haven't started on any seeing any anything untoward happen under your eyes or anything, you just want a good daily eye cream or a serum, this is it. Um, and our rose water facial spray. Uh, to refreshen the skin and set makeup. And this adds a nice mist of moisture to your skin. And this is what uses hyaluronic, uh, sodium hyaluronate. Remember the smaller uh, molecule um, because it's being sprayed. So you, you, it, the uh, larger molecule of the hyaluronic acid probably wouldn't work well with this product. So we just use the uh, different derivation of the ingredient. Okay, must have number three. Glycolic acid. Glycolic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid um, derived from sugarcane. Um, it's a small molecular weight. Again, it's teeny tiny out of all the high um, AHAs. So it penetrates more deeply where it can do more work for you. And what that work is, is loosening the bonds between cells to reveal um, fresh, the fresher, newer, brighter skin and as it gets rid of the dead skin cells. Um, so what it does and what the benefit of that is, that process is reduced fine lines and wrinkles. It minimizes the appearance of pores because pores tend to fill up with dirt and debris and you need to keep them clean to keep them at their smallest size. Um, so if you keep your, with, if glycolic acid can get in there and really clean out and not allow those dead, those dead skin cells to settle into the pores, you're going to minimize the appearance of pores. Um, and therefore it minimizes acne. So it's very good for acne uh, prone skin as well. Um, it gives a bit of a more even tone. It's great for all skin types, but in particular, people who are looking for anti-aging and people who are more acne prone. Um, for hyperpigmentation, Glycolic acid is particularly effective when it's paired with kojic acid or um, hydroquinone or arbutin, you know, three really big brightening um, ingredients or ingredients that are used for brightening, but they all work synergistically. Um, um, what I've termed it, the pigment pathway, you know, to help clear up those brown spots and discolorations. So let's see what products we have here. Of course, right in the name. In our anti-aging collection, we have glycolic acid facial toner um, and the uh, glycolic acid facial cleanser. Uh, for, um, <coughs> so obviously you would, you would start with the cleanser. That has 3% glycolic acid in it, which is fine, just enough to sort of get that whole exfoliation process going in the cleansing process. And then you would use the toner that has 4.2% glycolic acid in it. Um, to just finish off and really keep uh, the skin clear. Um, and then 
while the skin is still sort of moist with your facial toner, you can either go ahead and just add the glycolic acid cream at 10%. And because it's now we've reformulated it some and we've made a combination of glycolic acid and a buffered glycolic. Um, so it offers that same exfoliation but with a little bit less irritation to the skin. Um, some people didn't like the tingling. Other people like the tingling because they think it, then the product's working. It's gonna work no matter if it tingles or not. So, um, but the point is if you use these three products together, you will see a difference in your skin. Um, as you can imagine, I use this every single night. <laughs> so I really think this works beautifully for my skin personally. I mean, I use it at night, by the way, just um, so when my body's at rest, I, I don't have, it, you know, it's not interfered, you know, with sun or pollution or anything. I'm just in my, while my body's regenerating itself, I like to think that my skin is regenerating too, is the largest organ of the body. And if you are going to use this nightly, like me, make sure you use a sunscreen in the morning because you're skin is working to bring out the freshest, newest skin cells. Don't let them become damaged by not protecting them with sunscreen when you go out during the day. So yes, I use my cream hydratant and then I put a little bit of our SPF 30 on top of it um, for a little extra moisture, and but mostly for the SPF 30. Okay. Oh, and look what's showing up again, our, our dark spot brightening serum. Right, not only does it have niacinamide, but it has glycolic acid too. It's one of the eight brighteners um, that really go to work on brightening and um, minimizing hyperpigmentation for the skin. So you've got a lot to choose from if that's your issue. And because I like those three that we just talked about, but I think there's always room for one more ingredient. Uh, you know me, I love my peptides. I can't go without talking about at least one peptide. So um, argarine um, or argarine, however you want to pronounce it. Basically, that is a brand name for two peptides that are combined, um, acetylhexapeptide 3 and acetylhexapeptide 8 make up the trade, pro, um, <laughs> the trade name for this uh, branded name for argarine. It is a man-made ingredient. And basically it mimics the structure of a short chain amino acid, which is basically um, a fancy way of seeing, saying a building block uh, for collagen and elastin. So it helps to support those two main things in your uh, skin cells, in your skin that you need for firming and strengthening. Um, but this peptide in particular, why I like it, is that it targets expression lines or wrinkles uh, to inhibit the muscle movement and lessen or soften the wrinkle formation. So what does that all mean? Okay, let's just go to the what, what it does. Basically, this peptide interferes with a protein receptor complex that, that helps cause muscle movement. In other words, go to the next bullet point. It keeps the nerves from talking to the muscles and telling them to contract. It's the easiest way to explain it. So the fewer contractions means fewer wrinkles, got it? So, and we tend to get these sort of lines and wrinkles, again, right around what we call the expression lines around, around your mouth and your eyes, because you, it's my dog. Webinar. Um, so that's where we're making expressions. You know, I have a very rubbery face, so <laughs> I'm constantly putting these products right here. Anyway, so um, what else does Argoline do? It stimulates collagen production, which is good for firmer, smoother skin. It helps the skin retain some moisture, which is always very good for the skin. But basically, it's really great for the expression lines, forehead, like right here, you know, for people who are constantly going like this, figuring things out, the steadiers right there, and crow's feet. So the two products um, in our anti-aging collection um, <coughs> that have our in are the peptide facial skin prep, 
which has the added bonus of trace minerals to really stimulate the skin to receive that peptide and advanced peptide plus, um, which has many more peptides in it, um, which is really, really great for, again, that stimulation of the collagen production, as well as just really going to work on the expression lines. So check those out. Those can be used. Um, the skin prep is used underneath a moisturizer. Um, you can use this, you know, daytime, nighttime, doesn't matter. Um, same with the advanced peptide plus anytime. On, on, you can add um, moisturizers on top of it if you want just a touch more moisture. Okay, so here's to great ingredients, right? Niacinamide, remember that name? It's great for everything. Hyaluronic acid for moisture and barrier building, glycolic acid for brightening and strengthening, and argaroline for smoothing and firming. So there you have it. Cheers. So I'm going to stop my screen share now and check out, um, see if there's any comments. Um, so now's the time if you have any questions about any of the ingredients that, or products that I discussed, um, if you wouldn't mind typing in. And again, I hope you join me, if not next week for our Zoom demo, um, perhaps next month for trivia, webinar, and demo. <laughs> we're, we're busy on, on Zoom right now at, at Reviva. So, Okay, everybody, I think that's it. I don't see any questions coming in. So I appreciate your time and your interest in Reviva Labs. And um, I hope to see you again soon. Okay, bye.